Now, why at all we have to convert a network into a graph? So basically, in computer science, we have flowcharts and different programming. As the advancement of computer science goes on, we require more and more, more problems to be solved by a computer. You must have seen that in many cases or in many softwares, it is really easy to solve problems through matrix methods. So if the complicated circuits such as in network theory to be solved by a software, we need to put in data in the form of matrices, then our problem will be solved very easily. Now, after converting this into a graph, we have some formal definitions which we need to learn first to study concepts in network graphs further. So basically, when you have a circuit such as this, maybe source connected to it, we might convert this into a graph like this. Alright, so this is the representation of this given network into a graph. Now we are going to study some formal definitions related to network graphs. The first thing is branch. So the branch is a line segment representing one or more network elements or a combination of network elements connected between two points. So basically any line segment connecting two nodes will be called as a branch. Whereas node, it is an end point of a line segment and exists at the junction between two branches or at the ends of an isolated branch. So basically these two dots that you see are the nodes. The nodes contain the different line segments and maybe different line segments converge onto one of the nodes or maybe there is one isolated line segment and so this is nothing but an isolated line segment in a graph we will see this might also happen and these are also nodes so all these are nodes nodes can be found isolated out of the graph as well so nodes can be all right. What is the degree of the node? The number of branches branches incident to it is called the degree of the node. So here you have three branches coming at the node. So the degree of this node is three. All right. Now what is a tree? Let me explain you by giving you, by giving the example. So if you have such a graph, the tree is nothing but a connected acyclic graph which traverses in one of the direction starting from one of the nodes covers all the nodes but does not come back so this is this is one of the graphs basically so this is a graph and tree is a part of the graph you can just separate out a tree like this so this will be a tree of this graph wherein we can start from one of the nodes and go everywhere without having to come back to the original node and this tree covering all the nodes this is the basic requirement trees can be different in this same graph you can draw another tree like this and this so again all the four nodes are covered and the path traveling is not coming back to the original node so what are the properties of the tree there exists only one path between any pair of nodes in a tree. Alright. Every graph has at least one tree. There may be many. The terminal nodes of tree are two. There are two terminal nodes here as well. At least there are three terminal nodes in this tree. But minimum there are two. So the minimum word is missing here. So in this case there are three terminal nodes. But in this case there are two terminal nodes which is connected to only one branch all right each tree has n minus one branches and n nodes so as you can see here there are four nodes and one two and three branches here as well four nodes and one two and three branches so n minus one is also called as a rank of the tree 
and ultimately this is also the rank of the original graph all right let us see further what is the definition of a loop loop is nothing but a network consisting of n nodes and starting from any node it is possible to travel back to the original node while traveling different paths and this closed path is called as a loop so in a tree we do not come back to the original node but while we are specifying a loop in a loop you must come back to the original node like in a previous example so we had this particular part of the graph wherein we will call this as a loop also this was another loop so all these are loops in a graph all right what is a cut set cut set is the set of branches okay which if we delete from the original graph leaves us with a particular tree which is disconnected all right and these deleted branch or the set of deleted branches is known as a cut set in the next slide we will see the example of a cut set what is a tie set tie set is a set of branches among which one is a link link is nothing but a part of the loop link specifically is the addition to a tree which develops a loop additional to the tree so basically this was our tree all right and if we add one of the link so link actually forms a loop to the tree so this is a link and others are twigs twigs are the branches of a tree so basically tie set is the addition of one of the link and others are twigs so you find out a tree out of the graph and then you just add one of the link you you get a tie set in the next slide we have some examples of tie set and a cut set so this is our original graph there are different trees that we can form so this is a tree covering all the nodes this is again a tree covering all the nodes not coming back this is an also a particular disconnected graph but not a tree we can we can call this a disconnected graph because we are traveling from a node we cannot go all the way to all the nodes all right this is disconnected graph this is not a tree now i want to explain a tie set again so you have a tree and if you want to get a tie set you just add one of other branches which will form a loop into a tree so this additional of this link forms a loop addition of this green branch and this green branch forms a link and ultimately forms a loop this is a loop this is a loop and this is also a loop so all these are tie sets all the branches which are covered in red and green here is the set which is called as a tie set here in the purple section you have the cut sets these are the branches which when we delete from the original graph we get disconnected graphs so if you delete this much portion from the graph you are left with this thing so this is the disconnection again if you delete this part of the graph you are left with this section so this is again a disconnected graph so these all purple patches or all purple branches are called as cut set all right so these are the basic definitions the remaining definitions we will see whenever you call me next time thank you for calling me to help you thank you so much